Okay, hello everyone. So this is Zao USD. I would prefer to use Sako to to do my analysis. Okay, let's start with weekly. So our weekly for gold is still strong bullish. First and foremost, you cannot you cannot go against triple bottom. So this is a very strong. Uh, pattern or structure for a direction if three triple bottom it's gonna be strong bullish so for weekly we control structure market structure with h4 we open h4 so yes okay as you can see this is the this is the triple bottom one two three okay so the market started here until the yeah oh uh, wait mm. okay still gonna break the support still strong bullish still gonna break the support still still strong bullish still cannot break the support still strong bullish still cannot break the support still strong bullish still cannot break the support still strong bullish okay, i just made it to here lah. Uh, okay so strong bullish you control at H4 for, for weekly movement. Okay, then we go to weekly. I would delete all the drawings. So as you can see, I have thought about uh, hidden base. Okay. Okay, for like this hidden base, you can you can only use for higher time frame like daily, like weekly, because in in hidden base there is a SNR at the lower time frame. Okay, wait. Okay, see direction. Okay, so we go to H four. Okay. Here, okay. First of all, here. When the price come here and then it goes downward. It break here a level break here then I will then I know that I will look for selling because uh, at this uh, hidden base it's gonna be support at our time frame see yeah Okay, hello. Uh, so when the H four it breaks here, then we go to H one. Of course, it will break. Uh, it breaks the support. So I will be looking for sell. So I want to sell here the QM. Okay, so the QM here, but. The problem is there is a shadow here that touch the zone. So I hit when the shadow touch the QM like this. But if the price go down first touch, it's very nice. It will react. But if the price, the shadows touch the QM, I don't like it. So I'm expecting to sell at this area, but we go to M15. Then H1, H1 MM. Put here. So we go to M15 lah. Our control structure. So okay, as you can see. At first, it reacts with uh, this level, <laughs> but for selling, 
it rejects M15 closing like this and I just sell here. When the price come at the M15, it close below, then I just sell. It confirms that the direction is going downwards. Okay, so we go to high time frame back. Uh, okay, I, I got this buy. Why? First go to H4. Okay, at H4. Like I said, uh, weekly control structure is at H4. So still bullish. So at this candlestick, it gives a very long shadow so we just mark first and then we go to lower time frame h1 so we can see there is a fresh fresh support Tada! okay here we go to m5 la. m5 is my entry <coughs> My reason is, first of all, I cannot use my my last push confirmation because you, as you can see, there is a different color of of candlestick, and then when it touch open line chart, you see here low high lower low higher high price come back price fly Tada! <laughs> so i just fm here and then boom okay when the price fly i would monitor this level because uh where? m15 Okay, here. I would, I would monitor this level lah, because it's M15 level, but it breaks just like that. So, I just put my BE here, then let it fly. Okay, open high time frame. And then, I TP at here. After 200 and 280 pips. Nope, nope, sorry. So, okay, right here, I don't know, I don't know why it said there, there is a reason, but I not commonly use that because this is a MM broken, uh, sorry, H1. Mm, yeah here yeah. mm broken it will test back and go down but there is uh my favorite structure here oh okay Uh, there is my favorite structure M1 okay so okay at M1 Okay, first, uh, okay, here, support, support, resistance, it breaks all the support, 
then it must uh, be test back here at my broker it, the the closing will a bit uh, below this closing price 